Hi folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. Today I want to talk about internet providers. Uh, I recently made the switch from Spectrum to Breezeway, I believe. It's the, it used to be WoW, but now it's Breezeway. And basically I was trying to see if they're just scouring the internet for a better deal. I came across Breezeway, which used to be WoW, and they have a deal right now for $29, and $29 a month with, with auto pay for the exact same service that I'm paying around 164 with Spectrum. So I thought for, for that kind of savings a month, I have to give it a try. So I did, and this is my experience. Now about the installation, um, I set it up for a Sunday and they came, it was pouring rain. The technician was fantastic. I actually gave him an umbrella, I mean, it was pouring. There was standing water in my backyard like this and he it's just downpour and he's out there with the umbrella and he did it he hooked it up got it going in the rain ran it from the my backyard around to the house uh disconnected the spectrum connected uh the breezeway internet and then i installed this um after i installed this basically just detached the um the spectrum i haven't returned it yet the spectrum modem attached this then i had to call and give them the uh, CM Mac address on the bottom, it's on the box, it's on the bottom of your modem. You have to give that to them so they can link the service to that particular modem, I guess. I don't know how it all works, but I had to give them this number. And actually, I actually, uh, the technician said, if I texted him this, he could hook me up and get it going faster so I didn't have to go through all of the tech support and all that. And he, he did, I don't, I don't know if that's normal. That was my experience and I'm just sharing my experience. They hooked it up. It was running within 10 minutes. It takes a little bit for, the, for it to kick in to register. So within 10, 15 minutes, whatever, I was up and running from the time where I hooked this up, gave him this address, the Mac address or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the Mac address. And I was online and everything was up and running. I am using my very own modem that I bought. It's a modem router combination. Uh, this was not on their website. I bought this anyways, hoping that it would work, and it and it works fantastic. $300 at Best Buy. There's a couple things I gotta talk about with this real quick. First and foremost, I'm paying the $29 a month and using this so I don't have any extra fees as far as equipment, rental charges, or anything like that. And I'm using the auto pay, so that's why it's only $29 a month. Now it will go up, it's, it's a 12 month introductory. Then it goes up to, uh, what's this, 89 or 69? Whatever, it's not 114 plus all the extra weird charges that Spectrum gives me. So it's definitely cheaper in the long run and this will pay for itself in no time going this route. Now, a um, couple of issues that I had, that nothing to do with Breezeway, but with the modem, um, if, you are do, if you're gonna go this route and use your own modem, you do save a lot of money in the long run because you, you're not paying that extra rental charge that all these companies will charge you. And if you think about it, if you have an $18 rental charge for two years, what's that, uh, oh, $400 roughly. And this cost me 300 and I, I don't know how long this will last, but in two years it pays for itself. Heck, it's gonna pay for itself in a couple months just from switching service. So, and then after that, you know, for years on end, you know, I know everybody likes to just stay comfortable, but if you make a few small changes like this, you can really save some money. Um, so let's talk about a couple issues that I had with this. With Windows 11, that's what I'm using on a newer laptop. For some reason, when you go to the router homepage, which I believe for this is 192.168.1.1, uh, which is the like the admin page, web page, so you can get in and access your router. It wouldn't accept that page in Windows 11. I don't know why. So I had to go in to internet settings, and I'll show you here on the screen. And I had to actually manually enter the 192.168.1.1 i believe i'm saying that right uh, as you can see here on the screen and then once i entered that as a trusted site then i could access my router so if you're having that issue uh, accessing your router dash modem that will give you access to it if you add that to your trusted sites another tip is i used all of my old my old ssid which is the when you're looking through your wi-fi on your phone that it's the name of your your Wi-Fi um, setup. So for example, if you're running whatever, let's say you named your router um, My Router 101, 
you would enter that in my router 101 and then your old password and it will automatically link relink all your old devices to it so you don't have to go through that process of going through every device in your house and re-entering a new password so that's pretty cool i didn't know that but i tried it and it worked and they actually recommended it on the use on the uh when i had this up and running so i was like okay i'll do that and boom everything and as you can imagine i've got three kids we've got probably 25 devices in this house that are linked so that saved me from having to go through and set everything up from my video cameras to my TVs, to every tablet, every phone, every computer. That was such a huge time saver. So enter everything in the same way it was on your old router to your new router. If you're getting a new router, if you don't, if you're keeping your old router and using a new modem, I think it'll automatically hook up and you can go that route. You don't have to reset everything. But if you're going with a new router modem combination like this, enter all that in, it'll save you that huge time. So about the speed and what I'm getting, I'm paying for the one gig with a breeze line. I ran the test on my computer and I'm getting close to one gig. That's wired. Now with this router, I ran the speed test. I'll show you here on my phone. And I think my max I got was almost 600 megabytes. So, and that's wireless, which is fantastic. On my spectrum with my old router, now that had more to do with the router than it did spectrum, but the old router, I think I was maxing out around 350, 400. And I think that's the max capability for that router. I don't think it was a true one gig or, I don't know how all that works. I just know what I was getting. I was only getting like 350 with this. And I'm talking about in the same room as the router. So speed wise, I'm getting, it feels identical. We've noticed no difference throughout the house. And I've got three kids, my wife and I, we're always streaming something, uploading, download. It's, we are always using the internet heavily and we've noticed no drop off from Spectrum to Breezeway. So the quality of the internet seems great. The customer service I had with the tech mission who came here was great. I set up the service online, um, set it for a specific date. They were here on that date. Like I said, it was a pouring rain. They did the install. Then I did the rest in house. They didn't even come in my house because I, you know, I'm, I, I like to do all this myself and use my own equipment now. I don't like paying those rental charges. I think I, you realize that over time they become, you, pay, you can pay thousands of dollars for a $200 remote if, or $200 modem if you stay with the same modem for years and years, if you think about it. So it's worth your time and money to invest in your own modem, I think, personal opinion. But anyways, this is just my experience. I understand everybody has their own experience. Some people I'm sure have had horrible experiences just like I did with Spectrum, like I have with at and I've had a horrible experience with almost every internet provider at some point in my life. It's just, the, you know, the cost of doing business when you have these huge companies that are spread out all over the world. And you may call somebody in India, you know, outsource to India and they're trying to fix, you know, you know what I'm saying. So well, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe and have a fantastic day.